Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade. We're at the Toronto International Film Festival and we're at the premiere of a very beautiful movie. It's called The Monster Calls and it stars the reigning queen of sci-fi, Sigourney Weaver, and the lady who's about to take over the sci-fi world. Right behind me, Felicity Jones, the star of Star Wars Rogue One. We're chatting with both of them and the entire cast, so get ready for a great day behind the velvet rope. This movie has so much meaning behind it. When people see a monster calls, what do you hope the, the, the main points and feelings they take away from this movie are? Oh, I, I hope that people are moved by it, but also I hope they feel some sense of catharsis after watching it because it's, it deals with things that everyone has to deal with at some point in their lives, with loss, but, it, but I feel like it does it in a very special, special way. Gosh, there's so much to absorb with the movie, you know, I think it's a, it's a, it was a startling and, and very moving children's book and the, the script is, it certainly tells that story, but I think in a, in, a, in a richer way. And I think, the, you know, it's a tiny little cast. Lewis McDougall is brilliant as the boy, and uh, and the relationship he has with Liam Neeson as the as the creature, as the monster, is very very special. And I think it will be, I think it's one of the most, you know, original movies I've ever been a part of, and I I think it'll actually be a very good movie for a family to see together because so many families are touched by illness, and it's great to have a way into that subject to kind of reassure children that this is part of life. You are the all-time queen of sci-fi, and the young lady who's right behind you, Felicity Jones, is about to enter that realm right now. Is she? She is. She's got a little movie called yeah. Star Wars coming out. What advice would you give her as she enters the, the universe that you have dominated for so many years? Felicity doesn't need any advice from me. <laughs> you know, I think she'll continue to do what I've always tried to do, which is it's, it's fun to do the science fiction. You, you approach it the way you would any job. But then you go back and, and you do a movie like A Monster Calls. I can't think of two cooler ladies to play my mother and my grandmother in a movie than the queen of sci-fi. And the girl who's about to become the queen of sci-fi in Felicity Jones. When you get to work with those two as a young actor, what is it like? Well, it's great. As you said, they're massive, big um, names. And it's, it was an honor to, to you know act with them. You know, I learned a lot just from being around them and experiencing them firsthand, you know, their work. It was great. When you get to make a really beautiful and meaningful movie like this, what do you want people to take away from this movie when they see it? I suppose what I want people to take away from it is uh, really what Connor takes from the monster, you know? Like, Connor gets told about how, like, about how life's not always perfect and how, like, to deal with, like, things that life's gonna throw at you, like, like, you know, like a family member dying, stuff like that. So that's really all I want people to take from the film. It's a movie about stories and we all have stories to tell. We, are, we all have stories that uh, explain us ourselves somehow and, and give us uh, some hope, some strength in our normal day, you know? Uh, so I think this is what they want to find in, in A Monster Calls. You were blessed with a heck of a cast, man. Yeah. When you get to work with these guys, what's it like as a director? It's a, it's a dream cast. You know, we had wonderful characters in, the, in, in a wonderful book, A Monster Calls. It's a beloved uh, book and that's always a responsibility. But having Felicity, Liam, Toby Kebel uh, and, and Louis McDougall, who is, a, who is an extraordinary young actor, I think I felt blessing every day in the set. How exciting is it to have a book that you've written that's so personal to you actually made into a movie? It's more exciting because I mean I got to be so involved and I got to make it with people who really I felt understood it and really were careful about the heart of it because there's so much heart in the movie. So that was the great experience. The actual making of it with really really great people has been wonderful. Speaking of great people, you get veterans like Sigourney Weaver, Liam Neeson, then you get one of the hottest young actresses on the planet, Felicity Jones. When you get a cast like that, what does that mean to you? It's got to be crazy, right? It's, I'm, well, it is crazy because I, I lived in LA for 10 years and I was always meeting, you know, sort of waiters who had Brad Pitt attached to their scripts, you know, so I didn't really believe it until they all showed up. Uh, and then they all showed up and they were, they, like I said, they took such care with their roles and I thought, this is amazing, these super nice people, 
super talented people working on my book.